Good morning and welcome to Daily Devo, the best way to start your day in the Word of God. My name is Whitney Mead and welcome to the show. You can catch me every morning, Monday through Friday, where we're going to get encouraged, get filled up, and grow closer to the Lord. Have you joined my free 21-day video devotional series yet? It's called Fitness in the Father. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? In Fitness in the Father, we study fitness of the mind, body, and spirit, all for free at fitnessandthefather.com. Head over there after you watch this video and you can get signed up. You can also text the word Whitney to 31996 to get a text message to join. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell button to get notified every time a new episode of Daily Devo goes live. Now, let's get down to business. Our theme for the month of September is Harvest, and we're studying the book of Ruth, the story of Naomi and Ruth, mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. The ladies have just returned to Bethlehem from Moab to participate in the barley harvest. Up until now, we've had zero romance and all tragedy in this story. But today, oh boy, are we going to get some romance. Have you ever heard of a meet cute? In movies, a meet cute is a scene where the two people who are actually going to become future romantic partners meet for the first time, typically under unusual or humorous or cute circumstances. Let's see how Ruth finds her meet cute in Ruth chapter 2 verse 1. Now Naomi had a relative on her husband's side, a man of standing from the clan of Elimelech, whose name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi, Let me go to the fields and pick up the leftover grain behind anyone in whose eyes I find favor. Naomi said to her, Go ahead, my daughter. So she went out, entered a field, and began to glean behind the harvesters. As it turned out, she was working in a field belonging to Boaz, who was from the clan of Elimelech, who, if you remember, is her father-in-law. Let's stop for a moment and observe what's happening. Because they're widows, the women are allowed to follow behind the harvesters and pick up the leftover grain that gets missed. Obviously, as we see here, Ruth is a caring and compassionate woman. Naomi doesn't have to say to Ruth, get out there and find us some food. Ruth is the one who approaches the subject to her mother-in-law. Of course, as our meat cute would suggest, of all of the fields she could enter, she enters the field of Naomi's distant relative. I smell a romance. Let's keep reading. So she went out, entered the field, and began to glean behind the harvesters. As it turned out, she was working in a field belonging to Boaz, who was from the clan of Elimelech. Just then, Boaz arrived from Bethlehem and greeted the harvesters. The Lord be with you. The Lord bless you, they answered. Boaz asked of the overseer of his harvesters, Who does that young woman belong to? The overseer replied, She is the Moabite who came back from Moab with Naomi. She said, Please let me glean and gather among the sheaves behind the harvesters. She came into the field and has remained here from morning until now, except for a short rest in the shelter. So Boaz said to Ruth, my daughter, listen to me. Don't go and glean in another field and, and don't go away from here. Stay here with the women who work for me. Watch the field where the men are harvesting and follow along after the women. I've told the men not to lay a hand on you. And whenever you're thirsty, go and get a drink from the water jars the men have filled. Oh my gosh, he is loving her. Verse 10. At this, she bowed down with her face to the ground. She asked him, Why have I found such favor in your eyes that you notice me, a foreigner? Boaz replied, I've been told all about what you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband, how you left your father and mother and your homeland and came to live with a people that you did not know before. May the Lord repay you for what you have done. May you be richly rewarded by the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have come to take refuge. 
May I continue to find favor in your eyes, my Lord, she said. You have put me at ease by speaking kindly to your servant, though I do not have the standing of one of your servants. Y'all know that song by Taylor Swift? Big reputation, big reputation. You and me, we got big reputations. Today, I want to talk about reputations. When I was growing up, my Sunday school teacher taught us about reputations. She said, hold both of your hands up. How many fingers do you have? We all said 10. Correct. Now, how many letters are in the word reputation? R-E-P-U-T-A-T-I-O-N. Every time that you do something that dishonors the Lord, your reputation gets knocked down a finger. Yes, the Lord will forgive you, but there are consequences to your actions. But on the flip side, when you do something honorable, that reputation gets knocked back up a finger. This is where Ruth impressed Boaz. She was a Moabitess whose lineage was a direct enemy to the Israelites. But because of her kindness to Naomi, her reputation actually went before her in a really good way. And Boaz was like, I want you to stay in my field. So today, take an inventory of your reputation. If it needs to be cleaned up, clean it up. If you're all good, then take a moment to pray for the Lord to continue to go before you as you navigate your days, that you may be full of wisdom and make wise choices to keep your reputation strong. Your reputation can lead to divine opportunities just like Ruth, perhaps even a meet cute like this one. God bless, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning.